Transmission cross member. I want to get this front end buttoned up guys. I got a couple more things to figure out before I pull that mock-up engine out of there. I need a radiator, a fan, and a short water pump so I can mock up the front of that. I don't have those right now. But what I do have is a box full of scrap metal to make a transmission cross member because I got to do that too. With those pieces I found, I think I can make something work. Just take one of those plates. Tap four holes. Put some threads in them. And another plate. And just drill holes. Drill hole. Tap holes. This plate that I tap the holes. Weld to the frame. Are you with me so far? Alright, so then we got our round bar. That I'm gonna weld that plate. Well, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Then we have the mount for the transmission. So this bolts to the transmission, and this needs to sit on the cross member and get bolted to that. So I'm thinking another piece of plate right there. So the transmission will live there. Right there on the sweet new cross member we made. I don't think it's gonna work. It'll work. Ever have to get a chunk of metal dug out of your eye? I actually haven't, but I don't want to either. Got our frame plate, got our mount end plate, 
So that'll get bolted to that. That'll get welded to the frame. And we got our transmission mount plate. So I guess the next thing to do is to climb under there and measure side to side for the cross member length. All right, the vertex is 35 and a half inches from the inside to the inside of the frame rails. 35 and a half. These plates are 3 8 So 3 8 plus 3 8 Come on guys, it's 3 quarters of an inch. We have 3 quarters of an inch on that side and 3 quarters of an inch on that side. That makes 1 and a half inches. So 35 and a half minus 1 and a half. According to my calculations, that's 34 inches. I kind of wish I would have made this taller so I could have done three, three bolts. It's kind of tight for four. It might be all right with two, one on each side. I'll do two half inch bolts. I'd be all right with that. I think we'll do that. I'm telling you, those hyperstep bits, those things are fantastic. That was a 7 16 drill bit through an inch and a half of steel butter. starting that argument but it does go over all right so besides the mess we have our frame plates that are drilled to 7 16 we have our cross member plates that are also drilled to 7 16 stepping these ones up to a half inch What I don't have room for is this cross member and the exhaust. Digging through a scrap pile. I got this. Use it to make bag cups. It's quarter inch thick. I think I could do something with this.
because we're gonna get back on that cross member tomorrow. Fortunately for you, that's in like two seconds. See you out there. I'm back. I opened it up upside down. <laughs> Dang it. Mail's here. That's for next time. Put that away for now.
that's that. Like most everything we've been doing, that needs a lot of finishing work. We're just not there yet. Now, I can move on with the front end, pull that engine out of there, so I can finish it up there, and then put that guy in there. That'll be a while yet though. Anyway, I'm gonna call that done, and I'm gonna move on to something else. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff. I hate saying that, but you know what? It does help out, so I do appreciate it when you do it. Keep on trucking, guys. What was wrong with this one? I think it's gonna rain.